Hey guys, what's going on? Thanks for swinging by. I really do appreciate it. If this is your first time on the channel, my name is Mark. Welcome to Fit and Fire. Let's get into it. We're going to be comparing two different pistols today. This is going to be the first time that I've ever done kind of a comparison video. So naturally, I would love to get your guys' feedback. Go ahead and comment down below if you want to see other comparison videos what are some of the things that you want me to compare uh, pistols rifles doesn't matter let me know sound off in the comment section down below i'd love to see what you guys have to say in addition to that if you guys are interested please go ahead and subscribe to the channel ring that bell icon as well uh, it really does help out the channel so along with the likes naturally the comments and then sharing with your friend because say it with me guys sharing it's caring, right? <laughs> okay, let's get into it. Uh, we're gonna be talking about the Taurus G3C and the Canic TP9 Elite SC. Now I've done videos on both of these here in the last couple of weeks, and I wanted to go ahead and kind of give you guys my opinions as to which one would be better. Now, naturally, in these types of things, it's going to be a lot of personal preference and it's going to come down to what really you need or are looking for in a pistol. Do you need something that is more concealed carry oriented? Do you need something that is more home defense oriented? You know, it just really depends on what you need. So, some of my thoughts and opinions about these two pistols may not necessarily align with what you're looking for. But at the end of the day, it's something to consider. Uh, you can file it away and uh, use it, not use it, it's up to you. But let's get into how are we going to compare these two pistols. And what I've done is I have broken it down into five different categories that I think are probably the most important. And I'm gonna use these categories in other videos as well as I do more comparisons, but uh, some of these categories may need to change and you'll see why here in just a second. So the first category is going to be price, brass tacks. How much am I going to shell out for this firearm? The second is going to be value. Of the money that I am forking out for these products, which one is going to be of the better value in my opinion? For these two pistols, since these are kind of a subcompact roll, you're going to want to know how concealable are these pistols and we'll talk about that as well. I'm going to talk about my experience at the range and uh, what I would like to say is its shootability or as Carnicon would say, shootability. <laughs> And then finally, we're going to talk about accuracy as well. Okay, so let's start the comparison. And naturally, we're going to go with uh, category one, the price. Taurus is renowned for producing decent guns at a very budget-minded price. And that's no different than the G3C. Again, naturally, if you guys are interested in the full reviews, you can check those out at the end of this video. I'll have cards you can click on if you're interested in checking out the full review. But by and large, you're going to be able to find the Taurus G3C for $300 to $350. Naturally, Prices are going to change, but that's about what you're going to pay. I picked this up from my local shop, American Cash Exchange, for $325. And uh, I was actually a little surprised it was that high, but at the time that I was buying it, you know, things were kind of hard to keep on the shelves, if you know what I mean. So uh, about $350 maybe 300 somewhere in there, you're going to be able to pick up one of these. In contrast, the TP9 Elite SC is going to be coming in right around that 375 to 425 range, and uh, you're going to be able to find them a little less, a little more, but about that $50 uh, fluctuation between the two prices. I was able to do a rudimentary search on GunBroker and found a few at 375 with a buy now price as well as, as a few that had a buy now price of 399 so again right in there uh, which is what I would have expected it to be I paid a little bit on the high side it was about 420 is what I paid for this uh, but again I was purchasing it right around the same time that I picked up the G3C so Prices were a little elevated. So naturally, uh, the Taurus is going to be the 
least expensive of the two. It's going to take the category just sheerly on brass tacks. But that leads us right into the next category of value. Of these two pistols, which one is going to be the best value? Meaning the money that I'm putting into it, what am I getting out of it? And what I would say about the Taurus G3C is it comes with three magazines. And for a concealed carry pistol, sometimes finding a pistol that comes with more than one magazine can be challenging. To have a concealed carry pistol ready out of the box with three magazines, that's a major plus. The downside to it is that's really all you're getting. You're going to end up with this in a cardboard box that you're more likely going to toss. You'll come with three uh, magazines. It does have the upgraded sights and the upgraded trigger from its previous um, iterations, but at the end of the day, that's really all you're getting with it, even though it is at a lower price. You're going to have to invest a little bit of money to get certain things like a holster um, or whatever else you feel that you need, may need for this pistol. In contrast, the TP9 Elite SC is going to come with a whole bunch of different features on the pistol itself, plus a lot of extras in the case that it comes with too. Again, if you're interested in checking out the full review of this, I'll have a card at the end of the video or you can check it out right here. But the biggest features is that it's going to have an optics cut on the slide. It comes with a 12 round magazine and a 15 round magazine, one less than the G3C, but you're also going to get a holster with the pistol as well. And that's a major plus because it's ready to conceal carry right out of the store. Now, is it the best holster out there? No, but in a pinch, you can get it to work just fine. So that's something I really did like about the TP9. And that's why I'm giving the category to this pistol because of all of the additional things that it comes with. Even though it is a little bit higher priced, there's less cost of ownership with this right out of the box. So TP9 definitely gets the category there. Let's talk about concealability. Um, how easy is it to conceal these two pistols? And I will say that both of them are relatively easy to conceal. They are the kind of subcompact size pistol. They're on the larger size of that, but they're definitely gonna be smaller than most compact pistols like a Glock 19. However, in distinguishing who would win the category on this, I really had to look at two major aspects of it. Between the two of these pistols, which one is going to be the smaller of the two? And then which one is going to have the better balance? And we'll get into that here in just a second. As you guys can probably see, the G3C is going to be the smaller of the two, so that's already got one leg up. But the other aspect of it, again, like I said, is the balance of the pistol. TP9 has a little bit of a higher bore axis, which makes it a little top heavy. And that's something that um, kind of bugs me about the pistol. Can you conceal it? Can you carry it? Yeah, you can, but that, that top heavy weight kind of makes it feel as if it's wanting to rotate in my uh, waistline as I'm trying to conceal carry this. The G3C has a very well balanced weight to it, and I really do like um, like that aspect of it. I would say that the the texture on the pistol grip here is a little aggressive, so you might want to think about wearing a undershirt or maybe even sanding it down just a little bit, but that's, that's semantics. At the end of the day, G3C I think is going to be the better of the two when it comes to concealability. So let's move on to my experience at the range or its shootability. And both of these pistols are going to have the same kind of nuance with subcompact pistols, meaning that you're going to have more felt recoil in your hand and they're going to be a little flippy uh, because of the short barrel. That's what you should expect with most of these uh, types of pistols. Sometimes the smaller pistols are uh, a little flippy because it's so hard to get a good, a good grip on these pistols. There's one thing that separates one from the other and makes it so much more enjoyable to shoot, and that's going to be the trigger. While the G3C does have an upgraded trigger from its previous generations, the TP9 
Elite SC has probably one of the best triggers of any pistol sub $500. And that goes to all of the TP9 style pistols. They're gonna have a really, really great trigger. And that is enough to take this category, in my opinion. Both of them were great to shoot. They are both fun to shoot, but uh, I, th I just can't get over this trigger. So category has to go to the TP9 Elite SC for my shooting experience. If you guys are keeping track at home, we are tied up. We have concealability and price going to the Taurus G3C, and then we have the value and shooting enjoyment going to the TP9 Elite SC, but let's look at the accuracy between the two. Now, quick disclaimer on this portion of it, we're gonna actually go to the range and we're just gonna do it, uh, we're gonna do it live, right? <laughs> uh, but when I was out the range, I uh, needed help filming this, so I had my daughter film. Uh, she's 11. I was blessed to have her with me and uh, helping me out, but I will say that uh, it may be a little jiggly and it might be a little off-center, but she was doing the best she can and I'm glad that she was with me. So with that being said, let's go over to the range and see what happens with the accuracy. All right, so seven yards, G3C, Thank you. That one was a flyer that's on me. This is uh, acceptable. Okay. TP9 Elite SC. I mean, it's a little low, that's probably me, but uh, for having a match grade barrel right out of the box, you can't beat it. So, pretty good. Okay, so there you have it. The accuracy has to go to the TP9. I was stacking rounds on top of each other. Now, I will say that the G3C uh, has an improved accuracy on the ability for me to shoot it. Uh, in comparison to the G2C, and I'm very impressed with that, but if we're going purely on the data, the TP9 Elite SC was more accurate, as you could see in the video. So I'm going to have to give the category to the TP9, which means that this comes out on top ever so slightly, but it does come out on top, in my opinion, uh, based on those five different categories. Now, that's not to say that I wouldn't recommend the G3C to someone, I definitely would, but it's going to have to depend on certain aspects of what they're looking for. So both of these are pistols I would recommend, but in a pinch, if an individual could afford both of these, I'm probably gonna to lean to the TP9 Elite SC because of its accuracy with that match grade barrel that it comes with right out of the box with the trigger that's really super nice and then all of the extra stuff that it comes with it too. It's really a lot of bang for the buck. So there you have it guys. Thanks for staying this long in the video. Um, what do you guys think? Am I right in this comparison? Did I get it right? Do you feel that the Taurus is better? If you do, sound off in the comment section down below. I would love to hear what you have to say. Again, if you have suggestions on other things that you would like for me to compare, more than happy to do it. Sound off down in the comments as well. 
That being said, we're gonna go ahead and get out of here. Thank you so very much for staying with me, my Patreon folks. Thank you for all your support. Everyone who's been sharing my videos, you guys rock. I really do appreciate all of that as well. And with that, we're gonna say goodbye. Until next time, take it easy. Freedom through strength. Here comes a high five. Have a good one, y'all. Bye.